could adopt this week's Cafe Critter, but do you want to? Considering that his last family was eaten alive! <laughs> Hi, Laura Clark from the Joaquin Humane Society. You know, it's really rude to talk about okay. animals' weight problems hey, in front of them. Excuse me, I got the he ate his family thing from you. But I said it in a whisper out of his earshot, oh. so he <laughs> couldn't hear. I'm sorry. Okay, what what is he? He is a... Okay, I'm going to cover his little ears. He He is a... Morbidly obese hamster. Okay, all right. Well, that's what happens when you eat your entire family. His name is Teddy Ruxpin. Oh, I had a Teddy Ruxpin when I was little. What's going on with his backside mm-hmm. there? With the, the tail? It's and... just kind of a creepy little hamster tail. What? Really, is that I don't how they think are we normally? need that on the camera. That again, no, we do. It's, just, we... it's 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 sensitive areas. Mm-hmm. We're talking about his sensitive areas. Okay, yeah, I understand. He, he's a weird looking hamster. Let's not. <laughs> Let's not sugarcoat that. He's kind of a weird looking guy, but he's so incredibly social. And very clean, apparently. Look at him cleaning himself. He loves everybody. And believe it or not, he came to us as a stray because he ate his family. Uh Wait, wait, wait. He came to you stray? Yes. How how did someone find him? Somebody found him walking down the side of the road and picked him up. And he's obviously a domestic animal. Um, Okay, if I saw him walking down the road, I'd go, ah, a rat. And I would... I would not pick him up. He is not a rat. He okay, is but a hamster. Really? With a weight problem. Okay, I'm not saying he's a rat. I'm just saying if I saw him walking down the road, I would assume he was some sort of a rodent. I wouldn't think, oh, there's a domestic animal that I should take to the Humane Society. Well, however he got to the Humane Society, now he's here looking for a permanent, responsible, and loving home. He loves to be held. He loves his people. He snacked on a piece of apple on the way over because we're working on giving him healthy treats. That's very good. important. Sure. Yeah. And he would love a um, large cage kept clean. He loves to hang out in his nesting box. So uh-huh. he has a little nesting box. It's kind of his man cave. I would get him one of those cool wheels or balls that oh, yeah. you can exercise. Mm-hmm. The balls are awesome. Yeah, he might need the large domestic rat size. Okay. okay. Yeah. He might need that because he does need to lose a little hamster weight so he can be healthy. You know, you can see he's uh, he's squirrely. He's kind of squirming around. Or oh hamstery. goodness. So, a home with super little kids wouldn't be a good bet for him because little kids squeeze and you can see that going terribly yeah. wrong, can't yeah. you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But a home with older kids that know their limitations, can deal with him, would be a great bet. Um, I would like to see him in a Seahawks sweater. I would like someone to knit him a little hamster sweater. Okay. Okay. And he would like to watch football games. All right. Because he would be, and he chews too, he's nibbling on me now. He would be a great defensive lineman, wouldn't he? True. Yeah, Yeah. he's he's got the size for it. Yep. So, oh, and he's pooping. Oh, he's made a little poopy. Pooping, pooping. Oh, okay. pooping. That's Mandy's I know, Mandy thing. loves the poop. Everyone does it. <laughs> so you have to look past his weight problem and realize that inside he's beautiful. Mm. And he just needs a great new home. Oh, he's got a cute face. He does. He's a cute little guy. Uh, okay, so uh, you keep him in a cage. You can take him out of the cage, put him in the ball, let him run around the house. Uh, what else do we need to know about hamsters? Pretty much just like with any other animal, he needs a high quality diet, plenty of TLC, needs to be kept clean, and he needs lots of love. I know with him this is a bad idea because he's overweight, but the best thing to do with a hamster is give them something they can stuff in their cheeks and see how many you can get in there. Because <laughs> yeah. seriously, they will. I, we, I had a hamster when I was in college, and we would give him puffed rice, and he would put it in piece after piece, and his cheeks would be like this. He's already got a family of four inside of him. <laughs> Ew. So... I think he's okay right now with that. Yeah. Apples, dark leafy greens, okay. healthy. Okay. Do you, have a, do you have a lot of uh, non-traditional animals? We sure do. We have uh, every little animal known to mankind. We have birds, everything from chickens to parrots, um, dogs, cats, horses, and everything in between. So visit our website, walkhumhumane.org, and see everybody. Oh, hey, we have something for you. Oh, I'm excited. The boss gave us this to give to you. This is from Whamarama. Oh that is a check for $500 to the Joaquin wow. Humane Society. 
as a portion of the proceeds raced uh, with Whamarama. Thank you guys so much. Thanks to everybody who came out to Whamarama and Cascade Radio Group and Cafe 104.1. We will put this money to very good use, and it is greatly appreciated. Thank you. And our hope is that it will remind people that you are a nonprofit organization and encourage people to also donate what they can. Absolutely. Every little bit helps, but this is fantastic. We have a really busy time of year right now. Our wildlife center is full. Our barn is full. Lots of small animals. And when you're this big, you eat a lot of food. (laughs) Thank you again to everybody. We really appreciate it. Thank you for bringing us our critter. All right. Laura Clark from the Watkins Humane Society. Thank you so much. Have a great week. You too.